now that you know we're in the summertime, it's hot outside for exercising, hydration is a huge issue. So, um, you know, water essentially is necessary for all of our cellular processes. Some signs of dehydration. Um, I know it might be, it might sound kind of embarrassing at first, but urine color. It's kind of the main thing we can focus on. So what I tell people is you want to find more of a consistency of like lemonade color. That kind of shows proper hydration as opposed to more of like an apple juice, a darker color, which can indicate early signs of dehydration, as well as um, flushed skin and cramping when you're exercising. Those are all early signs of dehydration. We need seven to eight glasses per day um, of, ad of water for adequate hydration. And that's just kind of a general staple recommendation. But what I kind of tell patients is to take your body weight, divide that by two, and that's kind of your fluid ounce goal. A common misconception also is people think, oh, you're dehydrated, you only know that if you're cramping up and if you're on the floor vomiting, but it actually can happen as soon as getting that kind of cotton mouth feeling in your mouth. That's an early sign of dehydration. So you want to focus on that. Um, so sip water throughout the day and that's going to lead to adequate hydration as well as maybe, you know, cutting down on mindless snacking in the day too because the extra water is going to kind of um, fulfill some satiety and keep you full throughout the day. Energy drinks are such a, you know, marketable thing now like our Red Bull. That's not something we want to recommend in the summertime because Red Bull has caffeine and all those other stimulants which can essentially dehydrate us faster. So we want to avoid those things when trying to hydrate. Sports drinks are actually, they can be necessary because as we exercise vigorously, we are burning off energy, right? So we have to get our intake of carbohydrates up to kind of counteract that. So what I recommend um, is if you're exercising more than an hour vigorously, you know, drink um, an eight, ounce, eight to 12 ounce sports drink and that, that should be okay. But if you're having anything, if you're exercising under that amount of time, you know, water is fine, some kind of sugar-free drink will be fine, and then, you know, obviously eat after replenish. Um, and also, try and find more of a low-sugar, sugar-free route. So, Powerade Zero as opposed to Powerade, um, the Gatorade G2 over Gatorade, Crystal Light's a good sugar-free option. So, something like that in the stores would be a good suggestion. Hydration is also needed for kids. You know, kids were outside in the summer, or playing around on the playground, we can get dehydrated easily on hot summer days. So um, once again, you know, bring some water, bring a little, a little cooler with you, throw some ice in it. Um, we want to try to stay away from the sugary beverages too.